Friends, I'm back with the another match on the Bang Hub, which is Donkey Docker. From the name, we can know that uh, this machine has a lot to do with the Docker. The link will be added into the description section below so that you can download it. Before we move forward, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. I do appreciate your help and support. So now, just get started. Of course, I recommend you install or import this image to the VMware rather than VirtualBox. Okay, so now we can go inside the Kali Linux VM. First of all, we need to discover the IP address of the target. We can use the map with option of o, of SN to to do that. This case net discover utility will fail to discover the IP address of the target. As you can see, the IP address of the target could be identified as one hundred and thirty three. Next, we need to do the port scanning with a map. I've already done it earlier to save the time. So for now, we can cut out the result of the map scanning. As you can see over here, I use the option of the scene scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and then followed by the dash p dash to do the comprehensive scan and I'll put the result into this file with the option of on. Because the target is Linux, in this case, we can use this option or we do not need to use this one, you know? So from the map scanning, we can tell that the target has two open ports. The first one is 22, which is running SSH surface or secure shell surface and its corresponding version number. As we know, this version doesn't have a vulnerability what we can exploit. The second one or last one is 80, which is running HTTP surface and also the version information, which is Apache 2. So what we are going to do next is to do emulation both manually and automatically with the web application. Let's launch our browser to do the menu emulation first. And we can put the IP address of the target into the address bar. Press enter. You know, we got the page back from the server. And here some information about the machine itself. The level is hard or intermediate. If you can follow the instruction of this video, I think you can do it yourself. Okay. And here, some links like about. Of course, before we move forward, we need to check the source code of this page. You know, some cases, we can find very important information in the source code. The bootstrap core JavaScript place at the end of the document so the pages load faster, which is fine. I think if you have already used the bootstrap to develop application, you know this, yeah, you know this point very well. Uh, from the perspective of the penetration, we cannot find anything from this source code. Next, we go to the About page. Hmm, something goes wrong, damn it. And we can check the source code again. Similarly, However, we got this one, fix me. There is one comment, WW pass is WW. You know, in most cases, the WW pass should be var under the var directory. So maybe we need to copy this information onto our notebook. Okay, and now we can go back and another link, contact. Then we can provide some information, submit, email, message. Similarly, we can check the source code of this page. Yeah, this is some sort of the form. Container. So maybe it's time to, to do furthermore emulation with 
different tools like Nikto and GoBuster. Okay, so now, of course, we need to check the site whether this site has robots file or not. Yeah, we yeah we have already got to know these entries. Okay, so next we can use Nikto. To do the automatic immersion, <clears throat> immersion is the most important part. Yeah, the header header information appears to be outdated. Of course, although. It's saying that it's a bit outdated. However, we cannot find its vulnerability. It's not so straightforward. Icons, Apache default file found. Hmm, nothing interesting. We'll wait for these to be finished to see whether we can find anything else. In terms of vectors or possible vectors, nothing that like that. Next, we can use GoBuster as Yuyu to do the directory immersion. And we can specify the word list to do the directory immersion. PGP, HTML. Text. Press enter. Ah, a lot of output. Status is three zero one. So maybe we can put the put the filter right. Filter option. Go faster. So the height. Headers, status. Okay, blacklist negative. Okay, we can use the V. Press enter. Yeah, we need to use the while. Exclude lens. Press enter. Hmm. Even we need to put the status code for zero four. Press enter. Yeah, it's much clear, right? If you have already followed my channel, I think I've already used this option in the other videos with the other machines. Exclude lens. It seems that GoBuster cannot find anything else besides about, contact, index, robots. Txt file. Interesting. Mm, for now, we just give the GoBuster sweet time to finish. I don't think we can find anything else. Maybe we can use another or alternative to the buster to do the direct enumeration. 
just uh, mentioned again and again, we cannot re rely on single utility. We need to combine the techniques as many as possible. All right, it's almost over. Next, we can use the debuster to do the immersion. Press enter. Yeah, we got some uh, domain. I don't think we can access this directory, this file, sorry, rather not a directory. Hmm, not a found. Okay, even we got the mailer. You know the PHP has one application, PHP Miller, right? I I don't want to spend more time. Okay, so maybe next we can use the search sprite to see we can find the Miller application has a vulnerability or not. It has. Even the mid sprite has module. Yeah, for this application, although at this moment, we don't know its version yet. Anyway, it deserves our efforts to try, right? So let's launch our main sprite console. So the, the PHP Miller must be related to the contact yeah contact page yeah this one and now we yeah we can search php miller and then we can use yeah this one the first one injection vulnerability and then we can show options we need to set local host to our Kani Linux set local port number to 555. We need to set remote, remote host to our target. The port number is fine. We do not need to change. However, we need to set the target URI to the contact. Right? Because other page like about and home doesn't have relationship with the mailer, PHP mailer. And also we need to set the trigger UI. Maybe we can set to the root. If this doesn't work, we can configure it to something else. And also we need to set the web root. This case is not under the var directory. We have already noted down this information, right? Very important, ww. So for now we can run this module to see whether we can get the initial or metapretor session because this module, the payload is metapretor. <clears throat> Yeah, this module, this module will take a bit of time. I don't want to waste your time, so I'd like to back when it's done. As you can see, now we can continue our journey. The mid session will open. We can print the current. We can navigate to navigate to temp directory. Maybe we, next we can upload the name pair just clipped to do the immersion, right? We can use upload name pairs. Yeah, it's done. So now we can maybe we can trigger the command shell session. And uh, we can spawn the bash session. Bash session. 
right? Already, although we have already got the shell on the target from the host lane, we can tell that we are inside some sort of container. We need to get or escape from the container next, right? First of all, we need to... Yeah, we, maybe we need to do more local immersion inside to this container. We can go to the home directory and go to the Smith home directory. Permission denied. And we can go to the temp directory. We can run this name Pierce script. Name Pierce script to see whether we can find something interesting in terms of vector to elevate a privilege. It's done very quick. Now we can scroll back. Mm, cap, capability, change on. However, when I did the machine the first time, I failed to utilize this capability to make privilege escalation. Actually, the user, the Smith, use very simple passwords. The, the password is the same as the username. So now we can try to switch our shell to Smith. Smith, it does work. And we can get the flag, the first flag, right? Good work. And now we can go into the SSH directory. Yeah, we do have permission. And the two keys file, we can cut out this. Maybe I can copy the name. So this is the private key and also this one. So from the public key, we can get to know this key is owned by the this user or will, right? So next we can copy this private key and create the private key locally. Zoom in the terminal. And then write and quit. So we need to copy this user name, right, onto our notebook. Next, be before we can SSH to the target with this private key, we need to change the mode. And then we can SSH and target IP address. And we need to specify the private key. Yes. Yeah, we are connected. And we can do some, yeah, we can get another flag. Okay, you are tried harder. Good work. And we can ID. Yeah, as you can see, this user, Donkey Docker, belong to the Docker group. I have already demonstrated this technique. You know, utilize the Docker membership to elevate privilege. How to do? We can use Docker container ls. Yeah, this command will list all available images and containers, and also the image. So how to, you know, we can, we can set up or create another container, and we can map the volume of the host to the container. Yeah, let me show you. We can docker, yeah, run with option of D, which will be running at the background, and with option of V, do the volume mapping, and, we can map the loot and the horse. We can and then key. Okay. So 
And now we can copy the image name. All right. And then we run this container ls. Yeah, this is the new container. And now we can go inside this container to run command. We can use Docker. And with option I means interrupting. T, which means we get the TTY session. And followed by the container ID. And we want to get the bash session. And then we can go to the MNT directory. And then, yeah, we can get the flag. Yeah, this is the final flag. I hope because we do the uh, volume mapping, we mount the directory of the loot of the host machine to the mount directory of the container. Okay, so that's it. This is all I'd like to show you about this machine. Okay, bye. Have a nice day.